Alright, back again, Luke here, and today what I want to do is show you how to wire up a Naomi System motherboard, as well as tell you a little bit about this board here itself. Now, when wiring up one of these boards, what you're going to need is you're going to need either a Capcom or Sega uh, I.O. converter here, or inverter, and what this does is it takes all the power that runs from the JAMA harness and it transfers it to the Naomi motherboard itself. Now, for this setup here, uh, unfortunately, I bought it in two different pieces, and and uh, this board here, the inverter, didn't come with a connector and neither did the system itself. So what I had to do is I had to hunt down uh, the different wiring locations and plug them into the board itself. So what I'll do here is I'll tell you about these wires in case you're thinking about doing this setup here. Uh, these wires are just kind of uh, soldered on the ends and then they're just pushed in there. But basically for this board, you're going to have, uh, from starting from the left, you're going to have pins 1, uh, or sorry, starting from the right here, you're going to have pins 1 through 4, and then on the top part, you're going to have 5 through 8. Now, when looking at the board itself, this board here, you're going to have, uh, starting from the top row, you're going to have pins 1 through 4, and the bottom row, uh, pins 5 through 8. Basically, what you're going to need to wire up here is you're going to need your 3.5 volts, which uh, I have here as the orange wire. You're going to need uh, 5 volts, and you're going to need your 12 volts, and all of the black wires here, these are the grounds. So looking at this uh, I.O. board here, the first one, uh, this is pin number 2, and that is your 3.3 volts. Pin number 3 is 5 volts, and pin number 4 here is your 12 volts. Pins 5, 6, 7, and 8 are all ground. Now you'll run these wires over here, and uh, the same thing, you know, make sure that you check to the different uh, positions for these wires, you know, don't just run them directly, uh, you know, thinking that you know exactly where they are. Make sure you look, if you notice here on the side of the board, um, it's not going to focus very well, but there's numbers on the board and numbers on the harness itself to tell you where the start is uh, for number one and where the end is for number four, start for number five, and end for number eight. But uh, you make sure that you wire up your 3.3, that's going to go on pin number two. Uh, your 5 volts is pin number three, your 12 volts is pin number four, and once again, 5, 6, 7, and 8, those are all ground wires. One other thing to uh, note is uh, something that actually happened to me when I wired this thing up. I had all the wires on here, I connected up the uh, VGA cable, and I connected up the two RCA jacks for sound, and I turned it on, and uh, it fired up, it, it said the Naomi logo, but after that it said uh, JAMA I.O. error, uh, JAMA not found. And the reason for that is because this USB cable wasn't plugged in. So make sure that when you get one of these things that you connect the USB cable, you connect the RCA jacks, the VGA cable, and then you have all of your wiring correct here for the power, and you'll have no problems. But if you don't have this USB cable plugged in, when you turn it on, it won't fire up the game, and it'll say that there's a JAMA I.O. Uh, problem. So make sure you get that uh, all connected up before you fire this on, and you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, this one here, actually, I'm having a little bit of issues with my Blast City. Yeah, every time I turn this thing on, it comes up with the title screen, and then it instantly turns the, the monitor off, so I don't think my monitor is getting enough power. I think after I repaired it and got everything back together, I might have turned one of the settings down, so I have to go back and reset that or turn up the voltage a little bit on that because it's not, it's not uh, coming on or staying on. But on the other hand, it is working very well with my Neo Geo Cab. So let's power this beast on here and I'll show you how it's working. If you can notice down here, the lights are on. And this thing should pop up. And then it'll take a couple of seconds here for it to load the game. But once it does load the game, you'll be able to see it in action. So as you can see here, I got Virtual Strikers 2 in it. I got a bunch of different other games here that I'll 
put up eventually, but essentially for this video here, just wanted to show you how to get this thing wired up. And if anybody's having any trouble with these boards, you know, try and make sure that you take a look at some of the different uh, connections on your board and make sure that you have everything hooked up because just one simple wire here will cause everything to kind of go out of whack. But once again, these uh, IO inverters here, th these are one of the best ones out there. There's uh, Capcom and uh, Sega. So, gotta turn the volume down a little bit there. Here's your volume control on here. Also what's nice about these boards is they have uh, different switches on the inside that allow you to change them to sync or uh, um, to change them for different monitor settings. Uh, it also has a test switch on it. This has a couple of test switches here on the side. If you're having any problems with the system and you want to check the system, you can press the two switches here. Uh, also has a couple of dip switches which allow you to change different things in the menu. But that is a little bit about this Naomi One system hardware and how to wire it up. Uh, there's not many videos out there that show you how to wire these things up. In fact, um, I didn't find any. <laughs> so hopefully this video will come in a little bit handy. For this video here, um, it, uh, I, I'm not showing you how to wire up a GD-ROM system or a Naomi Two board. But um, even with that, with the GD-ROM system, what you'll need is you'll need the uh, DIMM adapter for the top here. You'll also need to make a, uh, a splitter of some sort that will take the power and also split it to uh, the GD-ROM itself because you'll need extra power to go to that. But um, for starters, this is a little bit of a look here at the Naomi One system hardware and how to wire it up. And that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.